Overpaying for anything sucks, especially socks. So why pay $45 for a single pair of grip socks when you can spend less than half? Pure Grip Socks Pro feature our best materials for optimal fit, moisture wicking, and performance at a fair price. Just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. For the longest time now, soft ground football boots have featured removable and interchangeable metal studs, typically two in the heel and four in the forefoot, where it was common practice to include a stud wrench to remove the studs, tighten the studs, replace them with slightly longer studs should the field conditions require that, all in the name of having the best traction possible. The downside of this is of course that when you have these screw in points, it does add some weight to the football boots. But the plus side is, should the studs wear out, you can replace them for new ones without having to replace the entire football boot. Well, it seems like Nike is looking to change that because what I have right here is the latest blueprint colorway of the Nike Tiempo Legend 9 Elite, but more specifically in the Soft Ground Pro Anti-Clog setup, where you can see you still have two metal studs in the heel and four metal studs in the forefoot, although it's just the tip of the stud that's metal, and you can see it's actually molded most of the way through. Still the normal soft ground length, but I think most importantly, not actually removable or replaceable, all in the name of saving a little bit of weight, but of course, losing out on the modularity aspect that we are used to seeing with soft ground football boots. And look, we're totally used to Nike trying new ideas on their football boots. They have revolutionized the football boot industry more times than I can count. But in the case of non-removable soft ground studs, I have a couple questions and a couple concerns. Are they actually raising the bar from a performance standpoint, or is this simply a cost cutting measure with the end goal being to sell more football boots because you can no longer replace the studs? I wanna talk about the pros and cons of this brand new concept in today's video and ultimately determine whether or not this is a good or bad idea. Of course, feel free to share your own opinions down below in the comments, but if you're interested in learning more, including how they fit and feel on feet, please stick around and watch the entire review. And if you are by chance interested in a pair for yourself, you can pick these up below the normal retail price by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes by checking out the first link down below. And as always, if you guys do end up enjoying the content, please don't forget to support it with a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2022. So I think the best way to determine whether or not this is a good or bad idea is to do a pros and cons list. With the first point potentially being a pro, but it might be a con we're about to find out, I would assume that when you eliminate having that threaded screw in point as well as having less metal to the studs themselves, perhaps you end up with a football boot that weighs a little bit less than a traditional soft ground boot, maybe something that weighs closer to the regular firm ground model. Both of these Tiempo Legend 9 Elites, both in the same size 9.5 US, this being FG, this being Soft Ground Pro. We'll start off with the FG model, which you can see weighs in at 7.45 ounces, the equivalent of 211 grams. We all know what those weigh. Change the scale back to ounces and we'll throw on the Soft Ground Pro variation. And you can see that they weigh in at 8.95 ounces, the equivalent of 254 grams. So if the end goal was to make the Soft Ground version weigh exactly the same as the FG version, that's not necessarily the case. Although based on what I've seen in the past, because we can't really do a true comparison here, this is a little bit lighter in terms of the amount of extra weight that is typically associated with a soft ground football boot. And by that, I mean they've probably saved five to 10 grams by doing the studs this way. A negative would be that you do lose out on the option of replacing the soft ground studs for slightly longer ones should you require it depending on field conditions. Now I will say, at least based in my experience with soft ground boots, this standard length of soft ground stud is all I've ever needed. I've never felt the need to put in longer studs, but it is worth noting that historically Nike have actually included a longer set of metal studs along with a wrench that they no longer have to include. So you could view that as perhaps a cost cutting measure. And again, less options is never better than more options. As a pro, because the studs are fixed in place, they never need to be tightened and they're never going to get loose. And for anyone that's ever lost a soft ground stud out on the pitch while playing, it is gone forever. You are never going to find it. So in terms of maintenance, there's absolutely no maintenance required here, similar to an FG boot, which historically has 
not been the case with soft ground football boots with removable screw in studs. Another con that I'm sure a lot of you guys will point out is the fact that because you can't replace these studs, once they wear down, you have to replace the entire football boot rather than just replacing the studs. And while that is entirely true, I would also make the argument, and again, this is coming from somebody that hasn't really needed soft ground football boots all that long, maybe one month at the start of the season when the pitches are still really, really wet. I've never found that the studs wear out before the boots themselves actually need to be replaced. But if that is something that you have experienced in the past, then definitely having the studs be non-removable and non-replaceable would definitely be a negative. Although on the flip side, as a pro, because these studs are fixed in place, you don't run the risk of ever over tightening them and stripping the thread on the football boots themselves. Because if you were ever to do that and the stud no longer stays in its spot, you now have to replace the football boots because one of the studs is never going to be secured to the bottom of your foot. And on feet, if you're wondering if there's any difference in feel between this new construction and the traditional soft ground screw in stud layout, as far as I can tell, there is no difference in feel whatsoever. Stud pressure is not an issue either. And if you are experiencing issues with stud pressure in any soft ground football boots, that's typically an indication that you're wearing them on ground that isn't actually soft enough. So at the end of the day, I really think this is a good or bad thing, depending on your use case for a pair of soft ground football boots. If you're only using them once in a while, I think this is great. If you're using them all the time, then I definitely think there's a bit of a cost cutting measure the Nike have implemented here in terms of making the boots cheaper, not including as many accessories inside of the box. And of course, once these studs do wear out, you can no longer replace them causing the need to buy a brand new pair of football boots. For those of you that regularly wear soft ground boots, please answer this question down in the comments, but does this change make you not want to buy soft ground football boots from Nike?